Hi all and very welcome to the Climb Report live from Click Connections here in Dallas. Today, David Bolton, the Vice President of Industry Solutions at Click, will give you an update on the Click Data Catalyst and how you can benefit from it. Over to you guys. It's been an exciting morning as always. That's First amazing. morning in Connections here with the new vision of Click and also a lot of acquisitions. But how does that affect your life as VP of Industry Solutions? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so as we move more towards data as part of the journey with analytics, going from raw to ready, I think the industry focus is key because we need to really understand how we can deploy these solutions into the wider business, right? So we focused historically around kind of analytics, moving the data into visualization and, and really understanding the, the impact that can have at an industry level helps us to kind of pull the glue together and bind these solutions into one. So when we think about something like a, a bank or a hospital, understanding the, the data landscape before it even becomes part of that, that analytics journey is really key. So my team are, are all about starting to think about the, the industry use cases, the possibilities of, of using an Attunity with a, a data cataloging and QDC to start to provide even further insight and enablement for customers to drive value. There's a number of great examples where they're, they're, they're using the cataloging technique to start to really democratize data in their organization. Rather than being reliant on uh, technical resources to start to pull and gather data and bring it into somewhere they can start to analyze, the data cataloging capability is building out more of a shopping basket style. You know, think of Amazon, right? So you go on, you find products you want, you add them to a, a shopping basket and you, put, you, you buy them. We want to do the same with data. So we're seeing organizations in the pharma industry and in banking and insurance starting to give people that ability to take structured, governed, secured data pull it into a basket, load it into Click, and start to find insights and uncover value. What I'm seeing with the customers we're working with now, so AI and machine learning is kind of top priority. Right? Everybody's saying, how do we get value from this? How do we start to think about using AI and machine learning to drive value to our business? What we've seen so far is a lot of companies using techniques like Python or R, building algorithms. It's quite a manual process, right? So they're thinking about how do we predict the number of patients that are gonna arrive at the hospital that we have to treat? It's a really simple thing in, in, in your mind to consider, but when you look at the data, right, you know it's uh, 80 different things that affect the volume of patients. Could be weather, could be time of year, could be time of day, could be the age profile of residents. So we've seen pay, uh, hospitals start to use algorithms in Python and R to, to really calculate that. They're then feeding that back into Click using the open APIs and we're seeing real world evidence now of, of huge impact. Resources being managed better, patients waiting for less time, lives being saved even because of AI and machine learning. Um, and that will only expand, yeah? We're gonna see that across multiple industries. Banking have been doing it a long time in risk profiling, credit profiling. Healthcare's getting really in on, on AI now. Um, and combining that with our cognitive engine that Elif will talk about, I think we've got a winning formula. Super cool. More on that on our next session. Indeed. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David, for taking the time. We really appreciate it. We have one more interview coming up here from Click Connections with Elif Tutuk tomorrow that will update us on the Click Insights Advisor. So stay tuned for that one.